Well, reports and rumors have swirled in the past month about a very hostile relationship between the new president and the intelligence community. According to the Wall Street Journal, intel agents are hiding some information from the president. Some have also blamed the CIA for the downfall of National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. Brian Dean Wright is a former CIA operative. He's also a Democrat. But he is disgusted with the shadow war he says his former colleagues appear to be conducting against the president. Quote, for reasons of misguided righteousness or partisan hatred, he wrote in a piece last week, they've taken it upon themselves to be judge, jury, and executioner. Brian Dean Wright joins us in the studio. Brian, thanks a lot for coming on. Thank you. So there are these reports that are troubling that various agencies are withholding intel from the White House. Do you yeah. think those are true? I do. And here's you the do. Issue. I do think so. And I think there are probably a couple of things happening here. One, uh, we saw this in the fall with the dossier. I think some things are being leaked to discredit uh, the president. Yes. And then the second piece is I think some folks are holding uh, you know, information back. And that's deeply troubling. I think it should be for all of us. It's illegal, too, isn't it? Well, of course. Yeah, I mean, we start to get into grounds of, of treason. Look, you know, I'm, I'm a Democrat, and I certainly didn't support uh, or vote for President Trump. But before I'm a Democrat, I'm an American. Yes. And I think the vast majority of spies understand that and are committed to that. But there are a fair number of these folks who are engaging in a very, very dangerous game. Uh, and I think and I support the president uh, and his efforts to, to find these folks and, and throw them in jail. Yeah, I mean, because we're supposed to have civilian control of the intelligence that's agencies right. and the military. Do you think that's in jeopardy? I think we start to head down a very dangerous road that places like Pakistan and Egypt have gone down, where you know military and intelligence uh, officers who, who are in the shadows, right? They, they are elected by no one. They get to decide. Uh, you put their finger uh, on the the scale of who wins and loses in the political world. I think when we start seeing this this garbage, I think we are in, in deep deep trouble. In fact, there was a tweet by a journalist who said effectively that the intelligence community has declared war on President Trump and that they plan to see him die in jail. That is scary. I don't care if you're Republican or Democrat or Independent or Green. It doesn't matter. Intelligence officers should never be in the business of doing this kind of uh, hinky stuff. That's no, ridiculous. and it's been a concern for 70 years since sure. the OSS and CIA started. That's right. The idea that the president would get either information that was tailored to force a certain conclusion or that he wouldn't get the entire picture from right. Right. his intel agencies. Yeah. Are there mechanisms in place within CIA to prevent that from happening? Well, yes. The frustration that I see is, listen, the Department of Justice and Congress, they have the ability, in fact, the authorization to look into these counter-espionage concerns. And I think that those are real between President Trump, some of the folks in his entourage, and the Russian government. That should be investigated. That is being investigated. Right. But that ought not be what the spies get involved in. That, that, that can't be what we do. But yes, within the CIA, within the Department of Justice, and certainly Congress, the oversight committees, that's their job. That is not the job of a spy to figure out who wins and loses. Well, of course not. And the CIA exists to give intelligence to the president so he can right. make the decision. So for those of us following at home, yeah. where do you think the fault lines are going to be? What are the policies Trump is espousing that a lot of people at CIA disagree with where they might try to hamstring him? Well, I think two things, if I may. The, when he went to the, the CIA, one of his first days in office, you know, he stood in front of the, of the wall and he was very uh, almost campaign-like uh, in how he handled yes. that, that uh, interaction. I think that that was a mistake, and I think that that fell on very, very hard ears within the agency, and I think a lot of people got pretty upset with him for doing that. So I, I think that as the president becomes uh, a bit more presidential, if I may be so yeah. blunt, I think the intelligence community will, will start to respect him They just more. don't like his style. I, I think that's a part of it, right? But the, the other piece is, you know, when he rejected the, the intelligence community's assessment that the Russians were involved in trying to, to throw the election. Right. That was very difficult and frustrating to hear the, the then uh, president elect or candidate Trump say that that, that wasn't uh, true. So if, if the president can get past some of those pieces and, and be frank and say, listen, I don't care what the Russians thought that they were going to get from me, they're not going to because I answer only to the American people. That kind of spirit will absolutely get the spies on, on his side in, in, to, a, to a greater degree. But at the end of the day, the vast majority of America's spies do their job, and they, they do precisely what they signed up for, what their oath calls them to do, which is be faithful to the Constitution and be faithful to the President of the United States. Boy, you've just confirmed a lot of conspiracy theories going back an awful long time that the CIA is not fully under control of the president. It's, it's upset. Very quickly, what would you say the political breakdown is within the building at Langley? It's pretty split, you know. I mean, but I have to say, you know, when, when we walk in, we're not Republicans or Democrats. Right. We're, we're not. But you Christian worked there Muslim. a long time. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, I, I would say 50-50. I mean, it really is a, a fair split. I mean, maybe a little bit more conservative, even for those of us who are Democrats. Right. Um, but the bottom line is, it is a very diverse place, uh, politically speaking. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Brian, that, that was that was really interesting. Trouble. Thanks. Great. Thank you.